What's up everyone and welcome back to another video. I'm Joe and this is the Lumix G7 by Panasonic. So Panasonic has pretty much been killing it lately in the affordable 4K department and with the release of the very affordable G4 their 4K lineup just got a hell of a lot sweeter. Now some people are calling this the little brother to the GH4 and that's probably a fair comparison. Now specs wise they are both somewhat similar but the GH4 obviously comes out ahead and rightly so with a price tag that's close to double the price. Now that double the price price tag is pretty much just for the body of the GH4 so you're definitely getting a good deal with the G7. Now taking a quick look at some of the G7 specifications, we have a 16 megapixel digital live MOS sensor, the ability to capture video at up to 4K resolution at 24 and 30 frames per second. It features the same autofocus system that's on the GH4, has OIS, a built-in flash, includes both an EVF and articulating LCD, weighs just a little bit over a pound with the battery and the kit lens installed, and has a starting price tag at around 800 US dollars. Now those are just some of the notables for now and I'm definitely going to have a more in-depth review of this camera at a later date. So this is the KK model which is the least expensive option for the G7 and some of the things you can expect to find in the box are a user manual in three different languages, some Panasonic registration and limited warranty information, a Panasonic software DVD, a quick guide for 4K photo, some micro four thirds lens lineup literature, a battery charger, your battery of course, a proprietary cable from Panasonic, and your 14 to 42 millimeter lens. The first thing I noticed about this camera when I pulled it from the box is its weight and its size. Now, this isn't a pocketable camera by any means, but coming from the very bulky FC1000, the G7 is definitely a breath of fresh air. It's small and very lightweight, and that's probably due to its mostly plastic construction. There are knobs and buttons galore which make for easy one-touch access to a lot of the settings and the ability to have multiple buttons that you can custom set to a function that you desire. Now, As I mentioned earlier, there is an articulating LCD, but it's also a touchscreen and that really helps round out the intuitiveness of this camera. The huge bang for your buck that you get with the G7 was definitely one of the main reasons I chose it. A 4K video recording, interchangeable lenses, portability, and price make the G7 a really attractive option. I'm already extremely impressed with what Panasonic has done, and in the coming weeks I hope to really really get a good feel for this camera so I can bring you guys a really solid and informed review. Of course, as always, I do hope you really enjoyed this video as much as I did making it, and if you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos, and as always, I'll see you next time.